Hey guys, Pastor John here. Just want to do a quick video for you. If you're a video person and you learn more or catch more by listening and watching, you're in the right spot. If you are a visual person and you want to see the text and the bullet points of the information I'm giving you, that's included in the email that I've sent. I'll link that email as well on our Facebook page, our YouTube page, as well as on our uh, church website. So that's where you can get the information. But I want to talk about three quick things and I'll let you go today. First of those, uh, those three things are Sunday school and small groups, social distancing and masks, and finally, services at our Y location, starting with Sunday school and small groups. All of our small groups have been suspended with the exception of, uh, of Vince's Sunday school class since the COVID pandemic has gotten uh, big. And so uh, we'll start with Vince's class. He's going to continue for the foreseeable future doing a online, uh, not online, on the phone conference call Bible study. If you're not f comfortable coming back to the church and you'd like to be a part of that conference call and you haven't been so yet, uh, contact us at the church and we'll get you integrated into that group so that you can be a part of Bible study and uh, fellowship and prayer requests through that conference call. Also this Sunday, we're starting back small group Sunday school classes for a few groups at 8.30 a.m. Those classes include Mike's class, Wayne's class, Claire's class, and Vanessa's class. So those four classes will start at 8.30. There will be uh, a few changes you'll see. The chairs are going to be set differently. There are no tables in our Sunday school classes, and that allows us to give some more space. Another thing I want to mention is that we are strongly suggesting that if you're going to be a part of those in-person Sunday school classes, please attempt to wear a mask. If it's not a physical uh, a physical problem or a, me a medical problem that stops you from doing that, please wear a mask uh, just so that we can keep everybody as safe and comfortable as possible. Uh, I'll mention more about that in just a moment. A few other things in regards to groups and Sunday school. We will start back with our children and teens Sunday school groups on Sunday night, July the 19th. That's going to be at our Y location. That's where we're going to do our small groups for teen and children's. Uh, those are, like I said, starting back July 19th. More information will be coming about that soon. And we have another exciting uh, group that we are starting in person for young adults and young families. More information will come on that as well. Uh, but we are going to be full steam ahead by the start of August. All of those things will be up and running and, uh, and everything's going to be, um, like I said, ramped up and ready to go. Next thing I want to talk about is social distancing and masks. You may or may not know over the past week, Manatee has started a recommendation that everybody wear masks where social distancing is not uh, possible uh, if you're over 18. Additionally, Sarasota has mandated that everybody wear masks uh, where social distancing is not possible if you're over 18. Additionally, the CDC has continued to recommend that masks be worn where social distancing is difficult or not possible. So you see a trend there uh, that all three of those groups have recommended that a mask may be a useful tool in stopping the spread of this virus. You also, I'm sure, have seen the number of cases go up without going into anything political or anything scientific. I'm going to say that we, like Paul, are going to have this stance, that we are willing to do whatever it takes for the sake of the gospel. If it means that a few more people will come if I wear a mask, you better believe I'll wear a mask. So what we're going to do in regards to masks at our church is that I'm going to strongly request, it's me asking you as pastor, to please wear a mask when you come into church and when you exit church. So here's what I mean by that. As you're getting out of your car and you're coming into the church and you're interacting and mingling with others and, and, and having a good time fellowshipping, I encourage you to continue doing that, but do that with a mask so that you and the person that you are talking to will be protected. Uh, also, when you're leaving church and you're mingling and you're talking, I encourage you to wear a mask then. A third time that I really would love for you to wear a mask is when you are going to use the facilities or you're, or you're mingling. Anytime that you're going to be in contact with somebody closer than six feet, if you are physically able and over the age of 18, I want to request that you would wear a mask. It's not because we're mandated. It's not because we have to. It's not because uh, you're going to save the world by doing it. We're doing it because we want to give everybody an opportunity to be here at church that would like to be. 
And part of that is making sure that people feel safe. And part of that is making sure that people are protected by wearing those masks. You will see that I will be leading in that way. I won't wear a mask when I'm preaching, but when you're interacting with me and you come in, I will be wearing my mask. As you can see today, I'm wearing contacts and I'm getting used to my contacts again so that I won't have the excuse to say, uh, my glasses are too foggy, I can't see. If you're able, do like I am and wear a mask this coming Sunday as you come in and as you leave. Last thing I want to talk about is our Save Our Why location. Save Our Why has been a huge blessing. I'm excited about doing some baptisms there in the next couple weeks. And this Sunday, we are coming back with a relaunch barbecue at our Y location. It'll be at six o'clock at the ESJ Our Y location. So I hope that you'll be a part of that. I hope that you'll come. Please keep in mind, we're still going to recommend that you wear a mask. Obviously, when you're eating a cheeseburger or a hot dog, you're not gonna be able to do that. But at all times when you're not eating, when you're mingling, when you can't stay six feet apart, we encourage you to wear a mask. To clarify on the mask, uh, when you're seated and then we're in worship, if you'd like to take the mask off, I invite you to do so. When I'm preaching, uh, if I'm not wearing a mask, you shouldn't have to wear a mask either. So uh, I encourage you in that time, uh, I feel comfortable that as long as we keep our six feet distance, uh, you, you can take that mask off. I do also want to remind you that uh, if, you're not, if, if you're sitting in a row with a group that is not living with you in your house, I encourage you to remain six feet apart from that group. You can still talk and interact, but leave that space there. Folks, we're not doing this out of fear. We're not doing this because we think we can, uh, you know, this, this virus is a up, you know, new thing to God. It's that we have been given a sound mind. We have been given wisdom so that we can, uh, we can thrive and that we can spread the gospel. I'm going to read you this passage out of 1 Corinthians 9. I mentioned it earlier, and I'm going to read it to you now. It says, Though I am free and belong to no one, I have made myself a slave to everyone, to win as many as possible. To the Jews, I become like a Jew to win the Jews. I'm going to jump down to verse 21. To those not having the law, I became like one not having the law, so as to win those not having the law. To the weak, I became weak to win the weak. I have become all things to all people, so by all possible means, I might save some. I do all this for the sake of the gospel that I may share in its blessings. Folks, we're not slowing down. We're full steam ahead and we're looking to reach people with the gospel. Wear a mask for the sake of the gospel. I encourage you to do it. I will this Sunday. We'll see you Sunday morning. God bless you.